Hi, this is Rick. Thanks for joining and this is the Excel 2010 VBA tutorial number 10 and today's topic is going to be um, the second part of, of the introduction to creating a user form. So this is where we left off. A couple quick things I wanted to point out is if you want the code for this, um, if you can't, if you're having a problem or whatever, um, please email me at 10 minute train at gmail.com and the 10 is the number 10 one zero and and also mention which tutorial name code you're looking for so uh, so it's clear anyway so thanks again for joining and what I want to do now is I want to add an OK button and a cancel button and again by the way if you're just joining and you're trying to learn how to create a user form please go back and look at tutorial number nine and you can either go to my channel and find them or you can also go to the website at www.10minutetrain.com and they should all be posted there anyways uh, I'm going to jump right in here I'm going to create an OK button so I'm going to click on the user form and I am going to put in a um, that OK button which is going to be a command button and so how I do that is I go here and where is that on here so that is right here so I click that I'm gonna go ahead and put an OK button right here and what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go down into the properties here and I'm gonna change the caption to well first off I'm gonna change the name of it I'm gonna change it to option OK and I'm gonna change the caption to okay and that's what the user will say okay all right then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another command button so I'm gonna click back here on the user form to get the toolbox um, back up and I'm gonna go here and add another command button I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna call this one option cancel and then I'm gonna go down here to the caption and I am going to put cancel all right and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, under cancel here I'm going to change it to true okay so you're going to change that you'll see it'll automatically be there um, it, it would default to uh, false typically so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and do a couple quick things here I'm going to go ahead and do I'm going to align all these three up to the top. So I'm going to click and hold with my mouse button, drag that air, drag out that area, let go of my mouse. I'm going to do format, align from the top, and now they're all in alignment. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do the same thing here with the options here. I'm going to go format, align, but this time I'm going to align it to the to the left, and I'm going to do the same thing here and I am going to format a line to the left. Now what I'm going to do is I want to go to the spreadsheet itself. So I'm going to do Alt, hold down the Alt key, then hit F11. That should bring up the sheet. Now what I want to do is go into the Developer tab, and I want to insert under the Controls section here, Insert. I'm going to insert an ActiveX. Um, under ActiveX Controls, I'm going to insert a Command button. I'm going to put that command button, I'll just put it right here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is on the command button, I am going to go into its properties. So I'm going to right click it and do properties. And I'm going, going to change the caption to be uh, customer menu. Alright, then I'm going to go in here and you'll notice one thing that will happen here. So I'm going to close out of the properties. And now if I double click this, I'm in design mode here. It will bring up the code for it. So I'm going to go back here to Alt F11. I'm going to go out of design mode. And if I double click it, it should do whatever the action is for it. Okay? But there is no... There is no... Um, there is no action behind it. So what I want to do is I want to create um, I want to create that code. So I'm going to go back to design mode. I'm going to double click it. 
what I want to do here is I want to enable the user form. Our user form again was called user form one, which you see right here under forms dot and you see I get all my options come up here so what do I want to do I want to show this user form which, which activates and displays the user form okay so I'm gonna leave that like that and now I'm gonna go back into alt F11 and now I am going to uncheck the design mode by unclicking it and then I'm gonna click that and you see it brings up my brings up the menu of course there's no there's no action behind it, right? And this is what I was mentioning. I'm hitting the tab key right now. You can see I'm going through these options here. All right. Um, there's no code written for this yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel out of here, which doesn't work. So I'm going to go back to Alt F11, and I am going to go into here, and I am going to click this. And this was the OK button what we are going to do here is add code for the OK button and so how we do that is what we want to do first is we want to declare this data as a string type and find the next row on the spreadsheet so what we're doing is going to call this next row and we are going to set this up as a string okay which is text all right, then what we're going to do is we're going to find the next empty row. And by the way, you can put um, comments in your code, which make which help um, which help uh, explain it, and also give you a, a reminder of what you were think what you were trying to do here. So we're going to say find the next empty row, and you notice to do a comment for that line, just put the um, single quote there. Then um, what we're going to do is come up with next row, and we're going to set it to application. And we're going to use something called worksheet function, which is right here. Hit tab when you want to finish that, and then we're going to use a count function called count a. All right. Then what we're going to do is set up a range, and you can see here you got all your um, arguments here. So we're going to set up a range, and I think we'll set it on, let's just set it on column A, right? And we will set it like that, and then what we'll do is we'll close that out, and then we'll add one, okay, for the next row, All right? And then um, we're going to use this function, cells, and then we're going to use our next row, and then one and then what we're going to do is we're going to call this cuss name dot text okay and if you recall cuss name was the name of the customer name text box so what we're doing is we're going to drop the customer name into onto the spreadsheet Okay, then what we're going to do is, so now we've taken care of the customer name, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and identify the customer category, right? Were they new, were they existing, and so forth. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to say if, and remember we call, remember we name these, we're going to say if option new, this was the name of that option if they chose it, then cells and then what we're going to do is do next row and we're going to do two here so that's going to be column two like if we put column five or whatever you'd skip column two three and four so that would come in handy let's say you're filling in an invoice or something like that you put it exactly where you want to okay so now I'm going to do over here and I'm going to call that I'm going to label that new then uh, what I can do here let me copy this and I'm going to do control C and I'm going to put it here and do control V and I'm going to change this this will be the second option I'm going to call this um, if option existing All right. and just a reminder so if you go back here let me go back here for a second and we click on existing I just want to point out where we're getting this from go to properties right click and go to properties 
the name is where we're getting that code from. Okay. Let me go back here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to let's do identify. So I'm going to copy this whole thing here. Identify the uh, identify if customer receipt flyer. And now I'm going to go up here and do this. And I am going to put that there. And I'm going to say, and now I'm going to put this in column three. Again, column three here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say flyer and no flyer. All right, then uh, it's option, I think I said flyer. there's no space there. Option no flyer. Alright, so I'm going to go back and check that. How I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to user form. I'm going to go back to... Okay, that's option flyer. Didn't is option no flyer. So I think I did that, right? Option no flyer. Okay. So now what I want to do... Here's the option OK. Now what I need to do is I need to put some code for the option um, cancel. So you can see over here I can just do the pull down up here and, and by the way so there's options over here you got click we're doing what happens when you click it but there's lots of different options here that you can modify but I'm going to do option cancel alright and then I'm going to say unload user form 1 Sorry, unload user form 1 Okay, and what that's going to do is unload it. All right, so now I'm going to now all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my sheet. I'm going to do Alt F11. I'm going to click my customer menu, and now I'm going to add my customer Bob Smith. I'm going to tab. I'm going to say his existing customer, and he received the flyer, and I'm going to say OK. And you see what happened? I put it on the sheet. So you can some a more practical use might be you filled in this information on a front end, and it creates an invoice and it you know fills in you know number of hours of labor or, you know quantity of items so this is very basic just to get you going uh, if I go here I can do um, I can do another I'm gonna hit OK and you can see it's gonna do it again I'm gonna show you in the future um, one I'm gonna show you how you can set this and reset the form so it doesn't leave the last option here but let me go in here and do Mary Jones she's a new customer and she did not receive the flyer and I say OK and it adds it there alright cancel button will do what I said it should unload the form and there it disappears from the menu that's what I want to share with you to get you going on these user forms uh, I hope this was helpful I'm gonna come back and I'm going to do advanced user forms and go into a little bit more depth and break it up into, I'll probably break up a project into multiple tutorials. So thanks for joining and please subscribe and visit our website at www.10minutetrain.com where all these will be posted. Thanks and take care.